Dean, what can you tell us about availability this week? Um, yeah, they won't make this week. Um, obviously, felt his groin in the week, so uh, he's had an MRI and he's got a, a slight uh, groin strain, which came out for a couple of weeks. Uh, Lee Alabada, obviously, he's still out as well. Um, it's good to see the likes of Brandon Cambridge now training fully, uh, so we'll need some game time soon. Ben Bender played 45 minutes for the legacy and scored a couple of goals and got an assist, so he's walked, he's bounced into the, the training centre today. Um, but they'll be training with us, they, they won't be ready to get involved yet. With Ben, I know you said he might need another game. Um, how do you think he came out of it? Do you think that will come next week, closed door, or another legacy game, or, or how do you feel? Well, we'll be looking to try and get a game. Um, you know, but all we can do is you know work him really hard in training to make sure he's getting up to the levels that where we need him. Uh, Forty-five minutes in six, seven months is you know not a, not an awful lot of football time so it would be a risk to throw him in and obviously a bigger chance to re-injure then as well so uh, we have to be really careful with him. What were your impressions of you know the regen you know this is the first time these guys have gone through this process this year and also under you well, how do you think those guys kind of came out of Wednesday and, and obviously prepping for what you guys will have to do today? Yeah I mean we as I said, it was something new. We uh, we went straight back to the training ground, and you know the lads got their got flushed out. Some went on the bikes, some went in the gym, some went and got their ice baths and recovery recovery tights on, and um, you know done all their recovery strategies to get ready for this weekend. So uh, then they probably got away by four o'clock and got to bed and slept in till twelve. So you know hopefully uh, they're fully recovered, and you know um, I think the proof will be on Saturday. Is this kind of more like a schedule that you're used to? Just, you know, play on Saturday, play midweek, play Saturday. I heard Ashley say on the radio this morning, you know, we like the games more than we like training. So it, it actually might be a beneficial thing for us to be right back out there again. Yeah, no, I, it is a, a schedule that, you know, is typical, uh, certainly in the championship. Um, but also in the in the English Premier League as well, with the amount of games that you play, the cup games as well. So you're playing um, quite a, a lot more midweeks than probably here. What does Ashley bring on the pitch in games as a leader? Um, I think he leads by example. So he has uh, he sets his standards, and if he falls below that, he's very hard on himself. I think you know. Uh, the lads take the, the, his lead on that. Um, he's obviously a quality footballer, played at the top level for you know a, a number of years. And when you do that, uh, if you're playing in the EPL for the amount of time he's played, it shows you what a top player. But for me, it is his standards. He leads by example, and I think the the players follow that. When you have a game like Wednesday that was so congested, um, what is the what is the antidote? What is the liquid plumber? How do you get that? Uncongested and more fluid. Yeah, I, I like the word congested. I found it turgid, but uh, it was uh, it wasn't a pretty game by any means. Um, we know we can play a lot better, um, certainly with the ball and our use of the ball. Um, but again, I was really pleased defensively with how hard we worked as a, as a team, and um, you know we're getting better. We're starting to learn about each other. We had, you know, we had a, a full away debut and we had a full debut. You know. Um, on Wednesday night at Chicago with Tiger and um, JP, so we are we are getting new players and we're learning about each other and what what we need to do. The Enzo stuff went through. Um, what are your thoughts now on that? Now that that door is closed and and you guys have yeah, listen, we we, we wish Enzo well. He's a really good person. Um, enjoyed working with him, um, but you know sometimes the stars don't align and they haven't. And he's uh, you know we've. He's found a club. We've accepted an offer, and he moves with our blessings. And uh, with you know, he goes with our thanks for all the work he's done for us. I know this is probably more of a Zoran question, but if they asked you, how would you like those two designated player spots filled in July? Um, I always think that you know, you you only, you only have three spots and. For me, you need somebody who's going to score goals. You need somebody who's going to create goals. And you need somebody who's going to stop goals, and that covers the facets of the of the uh, the game. Cool. 
All right, thanks, Will. Uh, let's go to Steve Goldberg on the Zoom. Hey, Dean. Hi, uh, Steve. How is the flight back from Chicago? How's the uh, spirit of core of the team right now? The, the flight was okay. Um, it was good because we'd, we'd won the game, but I had to put myself through the game again on the flight. So uh, I, uh, I fast forwarded a few parts of that game that, that could be fast forwarded. Um, but yeah, we were back. We we're back two two thirty in the in training training facility at three o'clock. So um, yeah, it was uh, it was all doable. Have you seen? Uh, is there a, a noticeable confidence? Uh, change in the team over the past three games uh, you know with the winning streak and the uh, clean sheets yeah I, th I think there's always going to be um, there's a thing that you can't see or measure and it's called momentum um, and it feels like the, the players feel they've got a bit of momentum at the moment so uh, you know while you've got it you've certainly got to make the most of that and ride with it and, and in training you know because these players have to you know to fight to earn their place on the pitch uh, with that, there's going to be some necessary rotation. Do you see the, the training uh, be more competitive than the guys stepping up? Yeah, no, it, it's been competitive anyway. We um, that's one of my demands that there's a good intensity whenever we train. Um, you know, train as you want to play, uh, and that's the only way I believe you can get better. So, you know, there, there's been real, a real good competitive element in, you know, all that we do in training, and you know, the, the players who who haven't been playing, you know, the ones who went and played for the Legacy have done really well as well. You know, Ben Bender's just gone, scored two goals and got an assist. Nick Scardine has gone there and been playing extremely well. And, uh, you know, uh, Nymphus playing there as well. We've got big scene goal. So, you know, there's um, lots of players who are really pushing to try and get, you know, a, a place in the team. And the ones who haven't been on the pitch as much, do you see them stepping it up, working harder to get that position? Yeah, I mean, we've mixed the team a little bit over the last week or week or two. You know, there's been some fresh legs in there. Um, but the ones who haven't been starting, you know, JP got his first start since Columbus. Um, he's been working extremely hard because, you know, they've had a taste of it and they want more. Um, so they've, they've got to be competitive in training. Great. Thank you very much. See you Saturday. Thanks, Steve. Um, all right, Caleb, just a reminder, throw your hand up if you got one. Go ahead, Caleb. Morning, Dean. Morning, Caleb. Yeah, I just got three questions for you today. Um, so, LA Galaxy has scored the second most goals in the league this year. What have you seen in their game that's made it, made their attack so potent? I think the quality within their team um, is there to see. It's you know an all-star team if, when you look at it. A uh, lot of very good players, uh, well coached, um, quite aggressive going forward. They want to attack. They want to score goals. So, yeah, it's going to be probably our toughest game of the season so far. All right, and you guys have three straight wins, speaking of momentum, four for four in a row back at home. Uh, looks like there might be some rain this weekend. What do you want to see out of this fan base on Saturday? Well, hopefully we can attract big numbers. Um, you know, I, th I think winning always attracts more people to, you know, a team that's winning attracts more people to the stadium and, you know, we want to hook them and make sure they're, they're enjoying themselves and, you know, um, when they come and make that make the noise that they do, you know, it uh, becomes our 12th man and we need that 12th man again on Saturday. Great, and just my last one here. Uh, Ash, you said following the Chicago win that the team showed personality. You also mentioned playing with personality uh, when it came to Kevin Vargas. Uh, what does playing with personality mean and why is that so important? Well, I actually asked a question at half-time because I, didn't, I thought we lacked personality in the first half, certainly on the ball. Um, the personality for me is when you see players playing with an air of freedom, um, you know, uh, being a really good teammate. You know, if somebody makes a mistake, then they're helping them out. And, uh, you know, um, being a... Being a re you, you actually see it, that they're all connected, and that's what I wanted to see. And I, I felt first half we were a little bit off here in Chicago. Appreciate it, thank you. Cheers. Okay, let's go to Nick Finelli, and then we'll finish with Bridget. Yeah. Hi, Nick. Yeah, can you hear now? Hi. Okay, good. Uh, good morning. Morning. Uh, I uh, was wondering, 
going off of what you said in personality, what do you feel like in this first, I guess, 13 matches here, uh, what's the identity of the team, and, and is it close to what you kind of envision? Um, in terms of our organization structure without the ball and our willingness to, uh, to win the ball back, it, it's been good. Um, with the ball, we still need to get better, and there's there's lots of work still to be done on that. Uh, so, yeah, we're a, we're a long way to being what I want us to be. But the biggest thing for me is we're very hard to beat at the moment, and uh, that's not a bad thing to have. And as you approach this this May, which has been so far a, a winning May, did you plan ahead of time with your coach and staff and things like this is what we need to do to be different or take that step up knowing we have a couple midweek games like how far in advance are you planning this and what are you doing to make sure you're getting the mix of all those younger players and you know it sounds like your seems like your depth of your who's playing and what they're able to do it's it's all starting to mix in well that you can almost put anybody in there and, and the quality is not going to go down at all yeah well we, we, our plan is up to Atlanta because after that we've got um we don't play the weekend after, so we've got a bit of a mini break there and we can then reassess and then plan for the next four or five weeks. So there's a plan in place. We, this is what you can't plan for is injuries. Every team gets them. You just have to deal with that. And, you know, Leo Labarda, you know, getting injured wasn't part of the plan. So, you know, uh, I've really liked Tiger, Tiger Smalls in training and what he's shown me when he's come off the bench. So, you know, I wasn't afraid to give him his first start and uh, you know if young players I've said before if they're training well and, and looking the part then they'll get an opportunity to go and play so I think with these players who are coming through like Tiger it, it actually gives us more depth within our squad to to allow us to get fresher legs on the pitch during this congested period. Thank you and the last one uh, with the LA Galaxy coming in what I know you focus on on your players 75% of the time but um, kind of like what Caleb said, what are you focusing on with them? I know their offense, but other things like what are the things that you need to, to see your team do well against them that may be different than what you're normally playing? Yeah, the, uh, again, against them because of the quality players, you know, Puig especially, whenever we lose the ball, we've got to go and counter press quickly. Um, you know, we've got to take care of the ball when we've got it because uh, they're a team that enjoys possession and looks to, to attack you whenever they have it as well so you know we've got to look after the ball a lot better and you know connect a few more passes than we did in the week perfect thanks have a great day thank you and you okay bridget with the last one hi guys how are you doing today i'm good thanks bridget yourself i'm doing well thank goodness it's friday right yeah <laughs> poet's day uh, back to back. you were just bringing you were just speaking about tiger uh, he got his first start on saturday do you feel like he is consistent, that he can play consistent minutes, um, long time, uh, every other game or every game? I think the biggest question we've, uh, for us with Tiger has been his ability to, and how long he can, can manage a game. Um, you know, he had an injury during pre-season which hampered his, his, his fitness, um, fitness work. So, you know, he's one of them players who needs to be a repeated sprinter. So, you know, having that fitness level uh, he's going to be big for him, so he's, he's certainly not ready for a 90-minute performance yet. Um, but you know, I think we got 65 minutes from him uh, against Chicago, and I didn't think we found him enough uh, to get him enough ball to hurt the opposition. But without the ball, I thought he did really well. And the passing seemed pretty disjointed, and the forward attacking didn't seem to be there on on Wednesday night. Is that something that y'all worked on in practice? or we'll be working on a practice for this game tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, there's not an awful lot of practice time we've got between games, but, you know, the emphasis is certainly on us connecting a lot more passes, um, certainly through our midfielders. And, you know, we played uh, we played Galaxy in pre-season in Coachella. Um, you know, we went and pressed them really well, so uh, won the game 3-0 in the end. So we'll, we'll certainly be looking to do the same. Great. And then one last thing, we talked to Bender on Wednesday night. He said that um, he didn't mind eating some more bread if you liked it. Just let him know what kind. <laughs> I, I certainly will. I'll, I'll be on to him now, now you've told me that. Thanks, Bridget.
<laughs> thank you, sir. You have a great day. And you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll wrap it up there. Appreciate the time.